So today we're going to carry on with the next step in turning apples into apple cider vinegar. So we juiced our apples and added wine yeast in order to make apple cider and fermentation was going super well. Now the fermentation has slowed down drastically, I'm going to move on to the next step. First, let's taste the apple cider. It was actually really tasty and pretty dry, but luckily nothing went wrong with the fermentation. Since I'm happy with the flavor, I'm going to pasteurize the apple cider by straining the juice out into another clean jar, making sure to avoid pouring in any of the sediment. I placed the jar into my instant pot with some water surrounding the jar and I used the sous vide function to bring the apple cider up to 75 degrees Celsius for a few minutes to pasteurize it. Once it's done, I cool it back down by running cold water around the jar. Now there's two ways to do this next step, the long way or the even longer way. So I'm just going to do the long way and that's by using a starter and I'm going to use apple cider vinegar I already have to get this going. Make sure to use one that says raw or unpasteurized. Since this bottle is almost done, I'm just going to add the rest of this into the apple cider. Cover with cheesecloth then set aside out of direct sunlight to allow the acetobacters to turn the alcohol into acetic acid. Over time this will form a mother of vinegar and it will become more vinegary and hopefully in a couple of weeks we'll have tasty apple cider vinegar.